Tom Yum Media. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, the Tom Yum Adventurer, and this channel is all about adventures. We'll be traveling together to exotic places, eating delicious food, riding powerful steeds, slaying dragons, battling zombies, and wait, what? We can't be slaying any dragons? Oh well, we'll be doing some other things then. And I've just purchased a piece of equipment that will help us with this monumental task. And you guys are here for the unboxing. So let's not waste any more time. Behold, the GoPro Hero 9 Black in all of its glory. This thing costs 16,000 baht in Thailand, which is close to $510. That's quite pricey. So let's check what it comes in the box. Yep, quite difficult to get it out. There we go. It comes with a carrying case. That's not bad. Considering the older GoPros do not even have a carrying case. There you are. The GoPro Hero 9 Black. Fresh out of the box. Well, not really. Uh, huh. So it has a front-facing LCD. And it has a larger rear LCD comes with a battery pack a single mount the mount base with adhesive and a screw Not bad a charging cable and some documents well there you go folks the GoPro Hero 9 Black but on its own, this thing is not going to be doing anything for us. So we need some equipment. The first piece of equipment we'll need is this. The three-way stick. Now you can get the GoPro version, which is around $40, $49. Dollars. This is the uh, aftermarket Chinese part. Does the same thing or much less. I think this one was around five bucks ten bucks not bad the quality is okay rubberized grip with the tripod in the in the body of the grip serviceable then so the second piece of equipment that we'll need or we will be using is this the chest harness Again, this is an aftermarket part, uh, aftermarket part, so it's not as expensive as the GoPro version, but the quality probably is not as great either. It comes with this mount, which looks very flimsy. The price is around um, three to five dollars. This thing, and this is the Telesin version, I guess. This is a, probably some Chinese Taiwanese copy. The actual part itself is not so bad. Okay, here we go. And then the, the third piece of equipment we'll be using is this. The helmet strap. This is again an aftermarket Telsin part. And it doesn't use any kind of adhesive. So it is not a permanent addition to your, uh, to your helmet. The rear part is rubberized. It's good rubber, nice and soft. This part is hard plastic though. On the inside is soft plastic, uh, soft rubber again. The straps are made out of nylon and the buckles themselves are plastic. Seems like they can open and close to secure the straps inside of them. I guess I'm looking forward to using this piece of equipment. And the fourth piece of equipment is the helmet. Ta-da! This is the real Kazar, a dual sport helmet. And we will be strapping 
the helmet strap onto the front of this helmet like so. The only problem is that even though it's removable and it is not a permanent thing and it will not destroy your helmet in any way, the straps might get in the way of the shield when it comes down. We'll see what kind of a seal it makes later on. Also, these mounts. I've noticed the uh, aftermarket mounts are not as good as what the GoPros produce. This thing is flimsy. It looks like it's gonna break at any moment. The GoPro mount, their build quality is excellent. And they even have this rubber stopper. Some kind of seal that prevents accidental release of the mount itself from the slot. Great quality. And since we'll be doing lots of outdoor adventures, we need a way to protect our GoPro. And so I ordered this. It is a aftermarket Chinese part. It didn't cost that much. I think this was what, $2 and it came. This is the, uh, the scratch proof Gorilla Glass that is supposed to protect the front and the rear LCD screens on the GoPro. Comes in many sizes. So I'm wondering which size is actually recommended to be used on our GoPro. Aha, uh -huh, this will be some kind of an adventure in itself. And the next piece of equipment will require a video all on its own. So see you in the next video. Peace. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm the Tomium Adventurer. Please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and please visit the patreon page every little bit helps see you soon